Lee's Nicholas back again tonight with another distribution just released. This is Zorin OS 12.2 Educational, yeah. So I was a bit interested in this one, wasn't I? And I must say the experience has been very, very good. I don't know what they've done with this one, but the whole experience of using this distro is very, very smooth. So well done, boys. I like it already. So being educational, that's what I'm really going to focus on, really, on this part of it. But I'll show you some of the other bits anyway. So the usual bars down here, start menu. I'm going to, first we're going to go all the way down to System Tools, okay? And then we're going to go down to Zorin Appearances, okay? So wait for that to come up. Now you can have this section, so it looks a bit Windows-like. We'll go to this one here. Ooh, a bit old school there. Or we can go basically to GNOME, okay? Some of you may like GNOME and want to use it. Some of you may not. But we're going to keep with this one here, just because that's how it comes. Now I put the icons on the desktop for you, so we've got Home and Trash, and it will automatically mount the volumes when you plug them into your PC, and they'll come up on the desktop, so that's nice. You can also have network servers as well, if you really wanted to, and interfaces. So you can have the buttons on the right, which we've got now, or we go on the left, on the right, on the left, but we're still on the right. And we'll enable anim animations even? Yes, of course we do. Okay, you can also change the theme. So we've got the blue theme at the moment. Change that to red theme if you want to. Looks all right to me, doesn't it? Yeah. Fonts. Let's say you don't want Roboto. Okay. You can just change the font for what you want. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And there should be a, an Ubuntu font here. There's one. Condensed brown. Or should we have bold italic? We'll have bold italic. Okay, we'll select that. And that's the font it's going to use. I like. Okay. That's enough of that one anyway. So there's plenty of selections here you can go through. Right, let's get down to the nitty gritty, okay? It's educational. Let's see what educational stuff we've got, okay? So we're going to go straight into education, because it's there. I'm not sure if I like the red now, actually, just saying that. Got blinking, G Compris, okay? Geo Gibra. Scroll down a bit more. K Turtle. Now, who knows what K Turtle is? Come on, tell me, tell me. Yes. Move the turtle around using your code. Hmm. Go and have a play, you might like it. Okay, next on the list we have, this is the bit I don't like, we used to get a little menu over here where you could go and it'll all come up in here, but it's not doing it this time, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey, kind of everything, right, one of the things I was a bit disappointed with, Scratch is included, unfortunately it's only Scratch 1, now you can get Scratch 2 to run on Linux, it's not a problem, it comes, it comes as a tile, okay, so I would have liked that in the ISO, that would have been a lot easier. Yes, you can use this version of Scratch. It will do nearly everything that Scratch 2 can. But no, it's, we want the new one, please, boys. So if you can do a little update or something like that, that would be really nice if we was going to use this in school. Okay. Next, we'll go straight back to education. I don't like this bit. Okay. Got Tux Type, Tux Paint, Tux Math. Have you never seen Tux Math before? We'll have a little show, okay? A little play. Basically, it's a really, really easy game, and you're going to like it. Remember this one? You'll love this game, okay? We're going to play alone, and we're just going to go to an arcade game. Okay. And we'll go to Space Cadet. And basically, the waves of stuff will come down, and you have to do the equation. So, 8 plus 1 is 9. So okay. Enter. We shoot them down. 7 plus 1 is 8. We shoot them down. So, if I press Escape, and we'll come out of that. No, we don't want to enter our name. No, we don't do that. We'll come out of that. Okay. Should we try that as an ace? No, 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 because I'll show myself up. So we'll quit that. So that's a really good one. Kids do really like that. Match education again. Tax type is very similar as well. Tax paint, you all know. Step is a really good one. K word quiz, another good, a really, really good one to use. Okay, and blinking, we won't go into that. So I'll go back. We've also got quite down here, if we go into programming, we get Bluefish, Builder, Fritzing. Okay, if you're into electronics, you're going to like fritzing. Because basically you can build your own breadboard or PCB to run your own project. So if you're into Raspberry Pi stuff, this could be the one for you. All your components over here. I'm sure I've done a video on it back in the day about it. So all your components here, like got an inductor, electrolytic capacitors, ceramics. Okay. Resistors down here. We've got the breadboard, the rotary encoder. The list goes on. You can get it for any version of Linux, so go and give it a go. So that's another bit I like. Browser is Chromium, by the way, by default. You can add others, which I'm going to show you in a moment. A quick bit of drinkage while we're waiting. There we go. Hmm. 
So it says Chrome is my default browser. Well, I ain't worried about that. So we're going to go to the tube, of course. Make sure it all plays correctly. Because if it doesn't, it's no good, is it? But of course, you know as well as I do, it's going to. So it knows me. Hello, I'm here. Okay, so we'll just quickly run through. Ooh, well, this one will be fine. There we go. Let's see how it runs. Okay, that looks good to me. Make it a bit of a widescreen. Lovely. That's what it says. I'll fast forward. Lovely. It does it all. And even ads. Nice. What could you want? Get Genie for your mail. And there's your file manager down there, which is Nautilus, by the way. Right, if I scroll down to System Tools again, and we go down to... Where are we? What am I looking for? Oh, I'm probably in the wrong part. We'll go to Settings, anyway. As we're there. You can change anything here you wish, okay? So your region, language, background, Bluetooth, colour, displays, keyboard, your tablet, because you might be doing a bit of drawing. Remember, these Wacom tablets, they start at about £15 now, so they're really cheap. Configure your firewall. That's what your first things you want to do. Good. Next. Utilities. What do we get in utilities? Terminal. System monitor. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Go to resources. As you can see, it's not doing anything. But bearing it's using GNOME, okay, bearing in mind that it is using quite a bit of memory. But on a real hardware installation, you won't have to worry about this. It's in the box, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. So super duper, isn't it? I like it. Me. Yeah. I don't know why it gave me four gig of swap though. I don't really need that, do I? In reality. Okay, I've also installed, if I go to ooh, accessories, I'm probably going to take Oh, weather. So you can have a weather app. Now, I wish this was. I'm going to put Bristol up there, okay? More of what you get in KDE, so you can have little applets on the, on the desktop. That would have been easier. So I don't really want to leave that on the desktop like that, do I really? No, no, no. But hey. I don't get to choose what goes on the ISO, do I? No. Okay, so should we have the terminal? Or should we not? I don't know what to do now. The system tools, scroll down. Oh, tax paint config, I forgot to tell you about that one as well. The software updater and updates is all here. HTOP I've installed, so you can have a look at, look at that. And as you can see, in HTOP, it's not even doing anything, is it? And most of it is known, it's using all the memory. And that's a better view of what we're doing, really. So using their own system monitor gave us a bit of a different result, didn't it? But I prefer to use HTOP personally. Okay, straight back to education because that's what we're here for. Okay, uh, K Touch. Oh, K Touch. We've done that before. Let's open it up and you can have a look. Bearing in mind the download is over two gig. Okay, so bear that in mind before you do anything. So we we'll put a name there. Yeah, of course I do. So sneak in there. I have no or little experience. Okay, that'd be good. Start training. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? But I'm not going to do that. You can do it yourself. As you can see, you can turn it in the box because I've only got half a gig left. And I gave it 14 gig for the install. So bear in mind, if you're going to use it in VirtualBox, give it 20 to 30. That would be more than enough to do what you want to do in the box. Under science. Chaosium, KDE Marbles, Rocks, Stellarium. GNU Octave, which is a really good one by the way. I will, before we finish, I'm also going to go back to sound and video and show you what you get. You actually get Ardor installed by default. So this is one of the reasons why it's quite a large ISO. Okay, Cheese, Brass Heroes here. Caden, I'll open Caden Life for you, hang on. Because this is the most current version, so you can do your 4K editing, which I was very, very happy. So there you go, there's the preset here, 4K UHD 2160 at 25. You can also go up to 30 and 50, but I don't have a camera that does 50 frames a second in 4K. So as you can see, the user experience is really good. I really liked it. I'll change background while I'm here. I really like the experience, and because it was a lot smoother than it has been before. So I'm going to change to Waves, we'll select. Oh, that's very white, isn't it? But very nice also. So, boys, you've done really, really well on this one. I'm really, really enjoying it. I might even do a full install on this one. I'm happy. It'd be really, 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 really good. Sneaky Linux. Go ahead. I see those. Bye-bye.